Hello guys and welcome to the Smith London Coffee YouTube channel thing. So, on this channel I look at different coffees, uh, different coffee shops and different beans from London. Uh, sort of taste them, show you what I'm doing and then hopefully we'll be able to support more London coffee shops as they come out of lockdown. Um, not just to lockdown, out of lockdown as well, just showing you different independent cool coffee shops. So, without further ado, this week we are looking at Kiss the Hippo's Lightest Roast. Now, I have to say a bit about Kiss the Hippo. When you email them, the info you get back is amazing. It's not patronising, it's very to the point. I'll look up and see who I got the information from. But I emailed them, you know, asking about which coffees I should buy. They gave me a lovely email back, sort of explaining everything. So, yes, this week I'm looking at their Lightest Roast, which, um, yes which apparently has notes of caramel, lemon and black tea. But, you know, I'll, I'll try and avoid those things. I'll just uh, taste it myself and uh, see what see what comes out of it. So, without further ado, like usual, we're going to do a cupping, then a real-world review, and then, yeah, so let's crack off. All right, guys, so I have just brewed my uh, first cup of the light roast from Kiss the Hippo, and... A little tip for everyone trying at home. Uh, what I'm going to do now is try at different temperatures. So I tried just um, as I broke the seal, as it were, broke the crust off the first time. Now I'm going to go in again, just after about six, six to seven minutes now, and try the uh, light blend. Do apologies, apologise for the slurp, guys, but it's to activate the whole palate and uh, really see what what flavour notes we're getting. So I'll, I'll try it again. <laughs> This is interesting. Like with uh, Monmouth last month, it's really interesting how intense a light roast can be. So that's fascinating. I always thought light roasts would be, well, lighter, but they're so, there are so many notes going on in that that it's hard to explain. So guys, I'm going to have to compare that next week to a medium roast, but now it's time to do a real world review with a little bit of milk and a little bit of sugar. Hello again guys. So we have our filtered coffee, light roast. Pouring it in the old cup there. So usual stuff, we're going to taste it black and then taste it with milk and sugar. So cheers. Oh, now. It's interesting tasting it black because tasting it in a cupping, you're not getting that much. It's obviously from the spoon, it's tiny, but this you're getting a lot more of the actual drink and you're getting a lot more of the notes, I think. There's no need to slurp there, but you know, you are what you are. So what flavours are we getting from this? I'll just go again. Right, it's described as a tea flavoured one. This, the Kiss the Hippo say it's, I don't know if I'm getting tea because they said tea, or it actually tastes like tea. I'm gonna go again. No? I've no allegiances with Kiss the Hippo, but their, their tasting notes are spot on. Um, I'm definitely getting tea, and uh, they say um, caramel um, and lemon. Well, I'm definitely getting citrus, but again, I'm not sure whether I'd say it was uh, lemon, but you might pick up different toasting notes to me. It's just what I'm getting. Um, overall, it, as a black coffee, amazing. A bit weak for me waking up. When I wake up, I want a really strong coffee to get me going, so I definitely recommend a darker taste uh, for first thing. But I'm going to whack in some milk and sugar now, but that would be amazing. I can't wait to try a few cocktails as well, guys. If that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comment section below or on social media. Oh, by the way, if you like this video, please uh, 
hit that like button and uh, press subscribe if you want to follow along with more coffee videos. I'm going to link um, Kiss the Hippo down below with this particular coffee so you can buy it and uh, support a coffee shop in London. So yeah, completely forgot what I was saying, but yeah, I'm adding milk and sugar now. Just getting a spoon. Just a little touch of milk. Oh, that was noisy. And a uh, just a touch of sugar because that's how I taste coffee. So, so in this the reason I do a real world review as well as a um, tasting is uh, it says it in the name really real world review. It is as as I taste it. So let's give it a go with the um, milk and sugar in, guys. Oh, that goes well with milk. That goes really well with milk, actually. Smoother. And, um, yeah, not, not a harsh aftertaste as well. So, another amazing coffee from, uh, from London. Thank you for watching that guys, it's highly appreciated. I'm still having a go on that uh, French press blend. Um, yeah, just a little thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, some improvements this week, we now have a backdrop. So just to take you through it, we have a map of speciality coffee in London, my face. And then we have Tintin, Tintin is a legend then we have the horse from the national portrait gallery then we have michael kane no explanation needed it's michael kane then we have another map of speciality coffee shops in central london so if you like this video give it a like give it a share to another coffee lover and next week we will be tasting the medium roast from uh, Kiss the Hippo in Richmond. So thank you, Kiss the Hippo. Amazing coffee. Um, yeah, watch this space and uh, see you next week.